Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. So today I wanted to show you the way how you can shade hair for your editing. So here I wanted to only use photo library application on my iPhone. Just tap it and then you just need to open the picture itself. Now there will be like information pop on this top right corner and then you just need to tap and edit. And how we can do the shading, just take a look on this part in the middle one, there will be like pen uh, icon, go tap it. So you will have an access into a this pen brush so you just need to pick the type of brush that you want to use here but for now i will let to use um, this pen brush and i will let to adjusting the color so you just need to go tap this side and then you just need to go with this color picker and just pick the color of the hair and now i will let to make it um, more darker you just need to tap this side and then you just need to type this or drag it into the uh, right side to make it like more dark. There you go. And then you just need to go click X. Now you're ready to uh, drag or do the shading. But now I will let to adjusting the uh, brush size too. But you go click it and there will be like this option. If you want to make it bigger, just use this Y. But if you want to make it smaller, just go to tap this button. Here I will let to use this one and then start scratching it. You'll see there are some shading uh, part right on the way or on the side that you um, brushed or swipe your screen in. And you can just do the rest. You can also adjust them for other color by again tap the same color here and then just need to pick the color that you want to pick and you just need to like um, control the color so that they will be like relate to the color of your hair go click x and start to scratching it again so basically that is the way how you can like do a shading color for your hair only with the iphone application hopefully you enjoyed this videos today and don't forget to leave some comment like and subscribe into this channel and i'll let this see you for the next tutorial